Welcome to an extra special episode. Today, Tom and I are taking you into this 10 million pound coastal home featured on Grand Designs and listed with Nick from Match Properties. This is Chesil Cliff House. Located in North Devon, the property has so much space at 7,500 square feet. It has up to eight bed and eight bathrooms also. And we've got some amazing features such as an infinity pool looking out to the bay and to watch your storms, your own storm room. Now, you may recognize this house from the TV show Grand Designs, but I can assure you, you have never seen the house like it is now. So we can't wait to take you inside. Anyway, we're gonna just briefly start at the front. So we have this long driveway, which was actually put in and it's kind of like a bridge. And it was the only way you could safely access the property via car. So down here, we have huge pillars that are stuck into the ground to keep it safe and secure. Now we are on the cliff edge, as you can see. So coastal erosion was a worry, but they worked their way around it and they have put piles that are anchored into the ground, I think. It's like 20 meters yeah, down, yeah, they, literally. They yeah. dug down a lot <laughs> yeah. to put this here. It's a mixture of sandstone and then the solid like granite. The, bedrock um, at yeah, the bottom. Bedrock. So they drilled into the bedrock so that when it does eventually erode over time, the property will stand tall and be unaffected. Yeah. Now, as you can see, we've got a double cart garage at the bottom, but I think we should just get started. Let's so do I'm it. gonna take you around to the access point and show you inside. Let's go. Now we're inside the property and before we get started, I'm just gonna pop a quick floor plan up so you guys can get your bearings of this house because you'll need it. <laughs> we have this steel door, it's ginormous as soon as we come in and I'm absolutely blown away by the immediate view you get out to see. So we have this little seating area here with the kind of dome skylight and also lift access, which isn't yet fitted. But Tom, if we back up, immediately we kind of have this nice sitting area as soon as you come in your front entrance it's got a huge skylight above and just views everywhere yeah and all those skylights are those dome shapes that you yeah. see on that rotunda on the end exactly. so it really fits with that lighthouse theme yeah and you know it's so open and airy in here we have the glass balustrades everywhere as well as the windows so we can see down to the floor below so it's a nice yeah. galleried landing up here absolutely yeah but i'm going to take you this way as you can see we've got a huge balcony out there yeah coming through but we're gonna keep coming down yeah as with the lift there are a few light fittings that aren't yet fitted yeah. there's some things in this property that do need finishing but it sort of gives the opportunity for a buyer yeah to put their own personal touch on the property exactly so here we have what be the principal suite i love it we've got the bed centrally placed to look out to that view we have a balcony there which adjoins to the study balcony which we'll show you shortly yeah i'm liking the beachy feeling here with the kind of wooden and that beaches. divide too right yeah you can sort of go around your bedroom without exactly. entering that actual sort of bed sleeping space yeah and we actually have a recess where i'm stood as well that comes around the corner just adding a bit more room and i like the flooring in here we've got the light wooden flooring yeah. We've also got like these cool windows. Yeah, like, really loads of windows ones. on all the different aspects of this, this property. And loads of curves. Yeah. Like, the property flows really well to help just encapture the view as much as it can. Absolutely, yeah. So I'm gonna take you out onto this balcony quickly. It's really cool. So we have kind That's of like a, a pocket balcony, I think yeah. you call it, Tom. So just sticking off the side of the house allows you to see out to sea, which is amazing. And then we can also see the house from here and just all its glory, really. Should I have a look? Yeah, I think you should look from here. It does look pretty cool. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's the door shut us out. Oh, yeah, I'll that looks insane, in. right? So in this space here is what would be the ensuite. You can see it's a huge space, windows everywhere, and we've got space for a toilet there. It's worth noting that even though there is all these windows in here, I'm just gonna close this quickly. Where the house is positioned is so private yes. from the road. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jess. <laughs> Just a <the> head. <laughs> head floating along. <laughs> I'm going to take you guys into here. I love this room so much. This is set up as a study. We've got the gorgeous marble desk. We're looking out to that view and the balcony there as well. Tom, I think you should just look. I really think you should look yeah. out that view. That view does not get old. We're right on a headland here, so you don't just get a view out to sea. It's a real sort of, it's like yeah. 270 degrees of coastline that you're yeah. looking at. It's incredible. Exactly, it is insane. And we also have room for a toilet in there too, with another skylight above. Yeah. 
All these windows are triple glazed as well. So because yes. you are dealing with the, the full force of the wind, Winds, yeah. you know, Gale. they are very secure, which also means that the property is really well insulated. It's quite warm in here. Yeah, it is. And it's not too warm outside as well. So Exactly, yeah. It's really retaining that heat, saving yeah. the energy. Right, I'm going to take you guys back through this sitting area and we're going to go into the next bedroom. So we're now in the kind of redundant dome, which was built to look like the lighthouse. I yeah. love how they wrap all the way around, like, bye. Yeah. You know? So we've got room there, like all this extra space, like I said before, could be for a walk-in wardrobe. We've got all the like little windows, like random, yeah. just bringing in so much light, they really have yeah, that lighthouse feel, I think. Little different aspects out to the yeah. sea that you can see, yeah. See that you can see. Yeah, and then you've got a view of all like kind of the rocks and the pool from here. Yeah, it's great. Absolutely. Loads of modernistic curves. Yes, definitely. The architect really likes that sort of style, doesn't he? You can tell with this lighthouse, loads of little bending, definitely. swooping corners. Right, now I'm gonna take you guys up to, I think what's one of the best parts in the house, the storm room. Let's go. Let's go. So now on the next level in the rotunda part of the building, and before we go up to the storm room, I'm gonna take you through to the another, another bedroom. Like Tom said earlier, you can really see the curves of the wall and the architect, Alan Phillips, really had a vision of incorporating the kind of contrasting geometries with the kind of rectangular windows and then the circular rotunda and just all the curves of the walls. And it really looks Amazing, yeah, it just complements all the light and the views, you know, the way yeah. the light can come in to fill and fill the whole circle exactly. is so great. Yeah, and this room, once again, is amazing. We've got views out to Croyd Beach and then the one behind Tom. Which is Saunton Beach. Yes, yeah, Saunton and Beach. Perfectly positioned double bed to just appreciate all of those views. Yeah, definitely. And then once again, we have kind of the ensuite in a separate area around there. Yeah, just swooping around that corner. Like that. <laughs> yeah, just like that, Jess. <laughs> Right, now coming on back out of this room, we have a nice little kind of, I'm going to call it a viewing platform because yes. you can see the pool, you can see kind of the sea. So imagine if your kids were like playing. You'd Sorry Jazz, kind them. of the sea? <laughs> that is the sea. <laughs> yeah, it is the sea. You can't just kind of see it, you're immersed <laughs> yeah. in it. Yeah. And then we have this secondary access point that actually goes straight to the garage so you can access it from here. And it kind of goes Yeah, you can sort of park your car and come straight into the... Your bedroom. Yeah, <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> wow, big I'm going to take you up this metal steel staircase up to the storm room. Let's go. So we're now in the highest point of the property. And before we go into the room, I'm going to take you out onto this amazing balcony up here. How incredible is that? Yeah, it's an insane view. We're so elevated up here. It's almost like a crow's nest, right? In a yeah. pirate ship. <laughs> the yeah. way it looks out across all of this, that curved shape. Yeah. Like you said before, looking across the Croyd Beach, it's just behind Jazz. Yeah, you can see for miles out here, can't you? You can also see there's an island out there as well. It's so cool. cool. Anyway, so coming on in here. Wow. This Whoa. is the best part of this house, I think. 100%. It's this where the dream started. Literally what I was about to say, this is where the vision amassed. Yeah, so cool. We've got the literally panoramic views all the way around. I think you should just do a little walkthrough so okay. we can see the whole whole uh, scale of that view, Jazz, go, right, go on. <laughs> All the way around. Check it out. Wow. <laughs> That's immense. It is. And Tom, while we're here, it's worth noting that that used to be the old, um, can you see this little house here? Yes. Used little Coast Guard tower, yeah. right? How cute is that? That's cool. <laughs> oh. Anyway, so like Tom said before, it's worth noting again that we have the triple glazed window up here, so it's really insulated, it can withstand the storm. Yeah, well, that's that's that you're the, gonna be watching in that's there. the thought behind all of these. Yeah, yeah the rotunda, isn't it? The circles exactly. is to sort of reduce the impact of all the storms. It's literally the storm room. Imagine sitting yeah. up here and just watching the full force of the water know, just cool. crashing into those rocks, yeah. feeling yeah. super safe, but sort of, I don't know, a little bit risky. Living it's cool. Life I like it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, visor. Whoa. Soft My rock. feet have disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, so I hope you've enjoyed looking up here. Tom is gonna now take over and show you downstairs. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, meet you down there. Down on the bottom floor of the property then, we're gonna head straight down into this sunken living room, which is absolutely massive. Huge amounts of glass in here. Oh, tripped on this super soft, cozy rug. This, <laughs> I know what you mean, Jazz. You sink. It's like the softest rug ever. <laughs> but yeah, all of this glass 
It was so painstaking to get in here. With the wind being on the headland here, craning all of this glass in was not easy for them. No. So yeah, no expenses spared when it comes to making this property. It was incredible. Yeah, it's awesome. This is such a great area of the property. We've got the views all the way around like we had in the storm room, but slightly lower down. Yeah. And a great area to just appreciate that view, I think. Yeah. We've also got the bifold doors that go out to this terraced area. That's huge yeah, terraced Yeah, massive area, terraced area with the glass balustrades outside. So you mm. can see all the way through, unobscured. Yeah, lovely. Cool light like fitting up there too, right? Yeah, I like the dark floor down there. Yeah, even just like the white theme of like, the walls are white, but so are all the stairs. It feels really like yeah. a LA kind of style yeah, mansion, sure. you know? Now we've got this super light, super airy, sort of dining area. Jazz is stood where the kitchen would be. It's actually not in the property at the moment, but again, like we said with the light fittings, allowing you to sort of put your own personal touch on the property. Yeah. But yeah, greatly positioned dining table. Be a cool spot to sit and eat your dinner, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, for sure. Overlooking the pool. We're gonna head out there soon, so we'll show you that. Just stay patient. <laughs> So we'll come through this hallway. Again, with all of these curves, you know, it's not like they're square walls. There's so many circles involved that just made this build so much more difficult. Definitely. We've got access to an area over the pool here, outside. Think, oh yeah, Tom, worth noting that yeah. the room next to me here is empty, but I think they're planning to turn it into a sauna room. Yes. Which would be really cool. That would be really cool, wouldn't it? A sauna in there. Right next to the pool. Exactly, yeah, you can hop out. I love the fact that we've got windows on both sides, so you can see the cliff. Yeah. on one side and then the sea on the other. Yeah, you're really submerged in that cliff now, yeah. kind of underneath the bridge that we saw on the way into the property. Yes. Yeah, and then we've got a nice lounge in here Ooh. with dual aspect windows that just let you to see 100% of your pool oh. and all the views out there. Wow, that infinity pool's really doing a good job at looking like yeah. an infinity pool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It blends immense. in so well. So good. I like these bean bags, Tom. Yeah, they're awesome. And then in here we have like a cinema room as well which is again with those super swoopy curves. But yeah, great to watch a movie in there. Good position for it. Again, another circular window here, we can see. I'm trying to just yeah. check out the pool, a little sneak preview. It's looking good, right? Ooh. I wanna go for a swim now, it's really warm in here. It is. And then we have another bedroom in here to my right. Yeah, again with a double bed, windows out. You can actually access the property uh, the outside of the property through yeah. there as well. And then we have an access point here. So I think we should head out, Jazz, okay. and show them the pool now. Let's go. So as we come around the corner, you get that view straight away. Yeah. All the sea, you're immersed wow. in it, and just check out this space. That I bet, is, I, I think, bet the property the, looks great from there, right? The best view you can get of the property is from here. Yeah, this is insane. So we've got a huge infinity pool here. I'm gonna keep going across. <laughs> and we've got all of this space absolutely massive guys and one of the coolest things about this property is that the most the majority of the people that are going to see this house are from the sea whether that's boat owners or paddle boarders we've actually got one out there right now but yeah it looks incredible from the sea and we come down the slate steps here hello butterfly yeah there's a butterfly now. <laughs> and we've got like a nice wooden path that comes down the bottom end of the infinity pool and then we're actually now on this huge circular wraparound terrace that comes out from that sunken living room that we saw. We've got the glass balustrades all the way around. You can see that path down. We're gonna head down there in just a second. But you can see your path down to direct water access. Yeah, that's so Love cool. Love to have that out the front of my house. You can just hop straight into your paddle board each day. Awesome, we've also got gated access so you can leave the property into all of that land and the fields if you wanted to go for walks and stuff. But what an incredible back of a house. That's but yeah, crazy. I hope you guys have enjoyed us touring the property. As I mentioned, we're going to head down to your private access to the water and uh, we'll check it out. So see you there. Down there. We're now by the water's edge. As you can see, the house is right behind me. It looks spectacular. But if you want to see what I can see right now and the way to get here, you're going to have to watch part two. That's right. We have another episode coming where Tom will take you into the eye, which is the property's annex. But for now, you're just gonna have to wait. So make sure to like, subscribe, turn that bell button on so you know when the next video comes out and we'll see you soon.